All right, welcome back. Thursday morning. We are down to the last type of system of equation for substitution that we're going to complete. Um, in order to solve this, we again have to find one of these equations that has an x or a y by itself. And if I look at this top equation, I have a y equals by itself. So there's nothing else over here. So yesterday and the day before, we just solved using when we were given a term. Now we're being given a term and a whole number again by itself. So our solution will be the same, x and y. And because this is a y equals, I'm going to take all of this and plug it in for my y variable. So I'm going to rewrite this whole thing, but take out my y and put this in its place. So I've got 6x minus 5. And because this 5 and y are touching, it means multiplication. So I'm going to take this 5 and multiply it by all of this. So I've got negative 2x minus 9. And then equals negative 19. Now, this is a pretty long multi-step equation, but you guys did these a couple weeks ago. So if you're following some easy steps, the first step you would do would be distribute. Then you would combine like terms. And then you would perform inverse operations. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to distribute this negative 5 times everything inside. So I've got 6x. Negative 5 times negative 2x is positive 10x. Negative 5 times negative 9 is positive 45 equals negative 19. So I did my distribution. Next step is combine like terms. So I can combine these two right here, which gives me 16x plus 45 equals negative 19. Okay, so I have a two-step equation here. So I'm going to separate my two sides of the equation. And I'm going to move my independent number first, my solo number, which here would be my 45. So the inverse of plus 45 is minus 45. That leaves me with 16x equals negative 64. So now I have a one-step equation. This 16 and x are combined through or attached through multiplication. So my inverse is through division. I'm going to divide both sides by 16. That gets me x equals negative 4. So I can go back up here to my answer, put a negative 4. Now, once I find this solution again, I can go and plug it back into either equation. Now, this equation is obviously much shorter than this one, so I'm going to plug it in here. So I have y equals negative 2x minus 9, and my x equals negative 4. So y equals negative 2. Instead of x, I'm plugging in my negative 4 minus 9. So y equals negative 2 times negative 4 is 8, minus 9, y equals negative 1. Once I know that, I can plug it back into my solution, and that is the solution to my